So we've got kind of an unusual situation. We have uh, twins here, except there's a difference in their filters. The uh, one on the right here was one I had picked up locally, and it came with the what I re uh, it came with the uh, I, I just refer to it as the bad filter because this really does not provide much for filtration. In fact, when I got the unit, it sounded awful. And I'll attach a video of that. Listen to this. Yeah, it just, it sounded terrible because so much debris had gotten through this little screen in here and actually wound up in the motor compartment, or wound up in the motor fan. And, uh, yeah, so, it was always my plan to replace this filter screen with the other type of filter, because this is a little bit more, this is a better filter. So, like, this machine, you know, it was dusty on the inside, but it wasn't filled with hair, so. Anyways, um... The machine with the screen filter I picked up first locally, and after getting it I realized it was missing a little clear door that was down here, and <laughs> after doing a search for that part I couldn't find it anywhere, it was NLA of course, and uh, this one had it, so... Um, yeah, after talking to a friend of mine, another collector that lives a few hours away from me, he spotted another one of these, which is this unit. That was for sale in his area. And it happened to have that little door, as well as the good filter system, so he picked that up for me and brought it up, and now it's kind of like, well, I didn't even really need to bother with this unit in the first place. But just to save some time, I'm only going to measure the voltage and wattage off of one of these machines. And for fun, we will do the airflow test on both of them. I'll just have to steal the door off of this one to put it on the screen one temporarily. I was just going to switch the bins, but the thing is, the screen filter ones have a plastic, or not a plastic, that's more of a rubber-like gasket on the top of it, as to where the ones that have the dust cup filter like that doesn't so i figured that probably wouldn't work too well since it didn't have a proper seal so we will take the voltage wattage and then we'll just do the airflow and suction tests on both of them all right <laughs> And the rating sticker on them says they're rated for 2 amps, so <laughs> that's really not too surprising that we get such a low wattage from them. Oh, and before I forget to mention, uh, the motor on these things is built a little differently. The back of the fan has these grooves on it, so it almost acts like a cooling fan because it's drawing air in through the motor, and then the back side of the fan has ridges to push the um, cooling air outwards, out through the vents here. So we can see there's actually intake vents up here, and then it all just comes out the side exhaust vents, the cleaning air as well as the cooling air. I thought that was kind of interesting. I've never seen a design like it. it makes me wonder if they used something similar in their stick backs all right so we got it uh, set up and this is the one with the the good filter so <laughs> we'll tr we'll run the airflow test and then try to run a suction test but 
I have a feeling we're not going to get much for suction. It probably won't even cling to the box. <laughs> You know, for a machine this size, that's not bad. Then we'll... Wow. That's surprising. And just to be sure we didn't uh, seal down better. Okay. Turn the brush hole on. That's unusual because I actually did get a higher score with the brush roll on, but just judging by the pitch of the machine, it also sounds like that uh, suction motor might be spinning a little bit faster when the carpet motor is activated. So if that is the case, you know, we would actually see an increase in airflow, but uh, <laughs> like I said, for a little two amp machine, <laughs> this is actually pretty impressive. <laughs> But uh, let's do the other one, and uh, because, you know, it doesn't have the filtration, we should actually see higher airflow from this uh, screen filter. All right, so now we got the one with the screen filter in place. So, we'll begin the testing. You know, I just remembered that I did not, uh, didn't put that little clear door on, so we are running this thing with a gaping hole in the underside of it. <laughs> oh. Okay. It's installed. That's better. <laughs> uh. Again. All right, so we got a little bit. Oh. One of the 
those cases where, you know, sometimes sealing it off helps it uh, seal better to the box. So, This is just funny. I mean, these things have more power at the base of them, you know, than some full <laughs> than some full size machines do. Ugh. And I'm not gonna run both of them, just because you know they're they're similar enough. And then here's one of the fun little things about them: you press the little switch down on the back, and telescopic handle makes them store nice and easy. It's kind of funny, you can kind of feel it sealing to the carpet just a little bit. <laughs> Not something you would expect from a, you know, a machine rated for two amps. But, uh, yeah, they're a fun little machine. At least I think so. So, this concludes our test of the two Eureka 402 twins, and thank you for watching.